Hey, what is going on guys? It is Mac here from Easy RGH Mods or Easy Customs and I have a new how do I video today um, and it is how do I um, fix my Xbox that isn't booting or <clears throat> if I would say gets to the um, loading screen with the Xbox logo and just stays there for like I don't know, a good solid forever and then just crashes. Um, <clears throat> now most likely what this is caused by, and there's a couple options, and I'll probably make a couple videos on this possibly. It's most likely caused by your uh, stealth uh, server. And so what you guys need to do is you guys need, need to take it off. Now, the tricky part is actually getting like past the boot logo but it's pretty easily easy um the one method that i usually do is take a flash drive and then put a blink launch ini onto it and then plug it into my xbox and then reboot it and then it's going to take whatever is from the flash drive not from what's on the hard drive um because that that's just how it works it goes to the flash drive uh first and then if there is no flash drive in it, it goes to the hard drive. And that's the launch INI stand uh, point. So what I usually do is um, I'll go to text edit. And new document. And then I'll just do file. Um, save. And it's going to say where. And then I usually just um, do, now you guys would put this on a flash drive, but I'm not going to be showing you guys that. Um, I'm just going to be saving it. So what you guys need to do is just call it launch.ini. And then um, just a rich document. Let's see here if I can just get it as launch.ini. Um, no, I cannot. Let's see here. There's a way to do this. Um, make plain text. Which on a computer, I, I mean, I should probably be doing this on Windows, but I'm not. But just give me a second. Now, file. Save. Let's see here. Let me see. Let's just try save. use an extension so uh, so I'm doing this from a Mac so I'll show you guys how to do it from a PC and there you guys go it's then called launch INI and then let's just find it really quick launch.ini um, let's see here and so it's just called launch dot I don't know I mean but, okay basically in the standpoint all you guys really want to do is get a launch I and I I'll actually leave a, um, a description down below um, to where you can download a launch I and I but basically just take a launch I and I from the download um, it'll be in the uh, it, it will be in the uh, description. Put it on your flash drive and plug it in. Now, after you guys have booted up your console, and it should bypass the um, the bad plugin. Um, and if that doesn't work, boot up the console, press the eject button like right after you have turned on the power button. It doesn't have to be too quick, but it has to be quick. And if that doesn't work, what I do sometimes is I boot up the console and then I, um, right when I see the dashboard appear, I press the eject button and that has also worked for me. But the flash drive should work. Now what you guys want to do after that is you guys want to go to XCX menu and then go to dash launch. And I'll show you guys this uh, real quick. Basically, uh, go to your hard drive, 
um, or flash drive. Actually, we want to go to our hard drive. And um, now I'm not sure where you guys have your stealth uh, saved. Um, I know XBL Ballin is down at the moment, which is most likely why your Xbox may not be um, going past the boot logo, which you guys need to take off the server um, and then put a different one on, like Deception Live or Ninja or um, Rebellion Live or one of those uh, stealth uh, servers. So you guys want to go to Plugins, and then this right here is where you guys... Um, this right here is most likely going to be the problem, and it's your stealth server. Now, if your stealth server is not plugin two, um, and you guys put it as like plugin five or four or three or one, that might also be a problem. Um, or, or um, how I have it, and you guys should always have it is XBDM is number one, your stealth is two, JRPC two is three, plugin four is XRPC, and plugin five is your um. GTA 5 menu and now that's how I always have it um it works for me I never have any problems so what I would do next um and it could even be your GTA 5 um menu try that um take off 2 and 5 if you have a menu for GTA 5 or just anything really try taking it off and see if that works um and then once you have taken that off, you just simply click Y, and then it would take it off. And then what you would do is you would go to hard drive, you would click X, A, X, A, X, A. Um, now that's just reassurance to make sure that it did save uh, properly. And then for the USB, if you guys did save it on your USB, you would simply do the same thing, X, A, X, A, and then B, which that basically backs out of dash launch. And then what you would do is you would reboot your console, and then um, it should be working. Now, take out the flash drive before you reboot your console to make sure that it is working. If you guys get it from the flash drive, it should be um, it should be no different. Um, so that's about it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If this did help, uh, leave a like and whatnot. Sorry if I sound a little bit nasally. I just had... Um, nose uh surgery done on my nose so i could breathe uh better but <clears throat> it'll get better over time so yep that's about it uh subscribe if you guys did enjoy and peace out also if i did miss anything or if it's not working leave your comments down below and i'll try and solve it out there so yep have a good one